Hit me. Hit some buttons or something. He recorded it. Bing bong. Oh, no, 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 no. More. Yeah, well, More. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Ready? We'll go with... Uh... <laughs> Welcome. Bye. To the studio. Joined by One Chains. What's good? Joined by Maxi Animal. How Say hello, doing? Max. Oh, hello. The fuck. It's Bye. Boo. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. Week. It's spooky season. So here's the theme of the episode today. Spookiness. We're going to talk about players we are scared <gasps> to start. And at the, at, Holy the, shit. at the end, we're going to do a herd of goats. Our favorite Meh. candy. Candy, chocolate bar, all that that encompasses. I, like a good boss, brought in whole gang of candy today. Max oh. was commenting how this is not a good pump, smorgasbord Pump the brakes on a whole gang. You got like a, you know, a Snickers, a Reese's, and... There's three different types of Snickers. Not a variety there's some good. There's some good not, stuff in here. It's not, just not... Not a good variety. I went to CVS yesterday, and they had the buy one bag, get one free. So I got a full Reese's mm-hmm. and got two bags of Reese's, and then they had a Snickers variety. So I got two bags of Snickers variety packs. That's where, that's where you went wrong. I mean, Would you want me to get four Reese's? Just not Snickers. Milky Ways. You know, they really give you the... the oh, oh, so he was at the CVS and he saw the selection of Milky Ways they didn't have. Also, Milky Ways are so much worse than Snickers. What are you talking about? I don't know if I agree with that. There's but... peanut butter Snickers in here. That's good. Fuck up out of here. Peanut butter Snickers are good. I can already tell your draft is fucking tanked. <laughs> You're about to brick the shit out of your draft. One-on-one with Dots? <laughs> no, no, no. Dots. dots. Nobody, nobody yeah. better say fucking Hold Dots. Hold on, no. You got to be true to yourself. I will be. I have some picks. They're, they're sleepers. I don't want to get into it right now. I don't want to reveal too much. What I do want to reveal is Ooh. this week's this week's bye weeks. Two uh, teams only. Kind of important, though. The Chiefs and the Chargers. Some uh, you know important players on there. Hopefully, you can get Keenan Allen back next week. He's kind of really disappointed you this year, along with now Mike Williams back. About to uh, be out. So. Mike Williams out for forever. Keenan Allen hasn't done anything. Eckler's yeah, no, been an absolute monster, though. Herbert's been disappointing as shit, too. Have him in a lot of super flex leagues. And I was like, ah, I feel good about that as my anchor pick. And then each week, you kind of just let him play. And you're like, cool, Herbert. You, you don't even, you know what's the problem with a guy like Herbert? You don't pay attention to his production. You just assume he's giving you good numbers. And then you look back and you're like, 18 points, what? Maybe, yeah. yeah. Like 16, 18, like 21 every once in a while. But last year, he had, didn't he have a 50 point game last year? He had uh, some crazy, crazy outputs last year. Yeah, That's what you like drafted him for. 300 something yard, four touchdown game or some bullshit. No, no, no. Like, he really had like a 50 something point game. Yeah, which I is, believe it. It's hard to do for a non mobile quarterback. So, do you, do you he, think his ribs are still fucking with him? No. I just, I don't, I, I think not having Keenan has definitely hurt him because yeah. they've relied on Eckler more. And he, the only place he can go is Mike Williams. It's like, are they, and I don't he's know done. If this was like, this may be minuscule, but are they not converting their fourth downs? Like, they like maybe last year they were converting more of those fourth downs. Fourth downs and then extending plays, allowing him to get those extra yards and make those extra plays where he could, you know, have that those big games. Whereas now maybe they're not. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like I feel like they actually just never converted their fourth fourth downs. They just always went for it. <laughs> yeah. So people on Twitter like got real hard yeah, over. They probably it. make half of them. Yeah. We love he goes for fourth downs. Literally just never gets it. Like live national TV, zero for nine on fourth downs. People are like we love it though. It's like we do, but. And let's move the chains every once in a yeah, while. No My etiquette, guys. clearly. I do think people should be going for it more on fourth down. I disagree. In general. Big analytics right play there. The, play the no, field. It, I'm a Bill Belichick guy. I believe you play with field positioning. That is technically playing with field position. You're the guy who punched from the 45 going in. Spoken like a true Denver yeah. Broncos head guy. Yeah, I know, exactly. You're, yeah, it, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to go for it. Uh, you run the ball in first down a lot, if too? If you punt it in the end zone, from my 45 you're, or you're their gaining 45. 20 yards. No, from the 45 going in. Wow, you're a punt so guy? From their 45. Their 45. You're a punt guy? I'd probably guy? go for it fourth and one. Yeah. You have no, to. you would well, probably. I'm saying no, 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 if it crosses onto my side of the field, it's where I start no, playing you would, positioning. No, you would take the delay a game. Don't tell me you what I would. You would take I, the five yards and punt. Look, I was. That's, I would, n- that's I would in never the past. Be coaching tandem with you. I'm not scared to talk about it, but. Real okay. quick, hold up. If we were to, uh, if us three were to start a coaching tandem, one had to be the head coach, one to be OC, one to be DC, how do we split it up? I got to. St- stick me away from defense. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like no one would want to be on the defense side of the ball. You, head coach, I, offense. I think defense. he would be head coach. I, I would go with head coach, or I, if you needed me to, because basically this is the head coach talking to me, I would be the defensive coordinator because I would just find a way to motivate those guys. The problem is, like, where people. does he, the problem is where does he fit in? <laughs> I could call a place. I think either of us could probably play. Quarterback. I played Madden. Okay, head coach. Never OC, had a run DC. play in my life in Madden. Do you run the ball in Madden when you play? Yeah, of I course. do. I always establish that. Establish the run Stupid. game. You shitting me? I'm like 17 for 65, two touchdowns type of guy. You establish the run game, then you run a play action, then you run a play action deep cross. That play is unstoppable. Oh, they would never expect that. Can't stop the play action deep cross. Three guys crossing the field, someone's always open. See how are we going to put you at DC? <laughs> Got a mind like this. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Maybe just two of us run it. You can like do a. You could be uh, the the water boy or tight ends coach or something it. like that or team morale. 
Halftime speech? The morale guy? I could be the morale guy. You yeah, know, like sure. the, the get back coach? Oh, when the yeah, coach yeah, gets yeah. really excited. Oh, yeah. back, You'll be like holding a... Adam yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to put him on like a chain, like ropes or something. Like Fucking. I would say one of my favorite things in the NFL, and take a peek at it, is when the special teams makes a huge play, they always cut to the special teams coach. You know, he always gets his moment in the thing, and they have the best celebrations of all time. They're like, they like super chat. Well, the first air? of all, they're all like always jacked up because, you know, they don't really have to be at practice, I guess, for a long time. So they're they just slip. always in the weight room. <laughs> always in the weight room. Always getting, always getting shredded, and their, their celebrations are amazing. Because nothing, yeah, nothing's ever going on with special teams. It's yeah. like... It's like you give up a big play, it's your fault. It's yep. like, fuck. It's, yep. it's, it's like having insurance. Like, no one really cares about it until it's something bad happens. And then you get a block punt. It's like Christmas you just morning. You assume, yeah. like, special teams is going to go yeah. clean all the it's, time. They make one good play every, like, four games, and the, and the coach will act like he was the one That's who what had I'm any like, fucking impact. High <laughs> yeah. stepping down the sideline. Just yeah. keep, keep an eye on it. I know. Just keep an eye on it. Anyway, the Chiefs are also on by. Obviously, Mahomes. Uh, Juju's been a little bit hot. Yeah. Clyde, whatever. Uh, Travis Kelsey. Yeah, there's that's some, probably, some that's key probably the players. most valuable team to be on a buy. I'd say. Yeah, people probably own their players the most. So I'm saying there's probably a couple of big players there. I would say the the Bengals because they have at least three wide receivers. Every skill position they have a starter yeah, at. You in, could like start fantasy. their entire offense except for the line. I'd like to hear that. I don't. I don't think so. Burrow, Higgins, Chase, Boyd, Mixon. You kidding me? Yeah. Now say the Chiefs. And even Ch- Hayden Hurst is startable. Too. Chiefs is Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and then like Juju. You could start Juju uh, and Clyde, guess, yeah. but they're not every week starters. Like if you have Clyde, no Juju, I think is okay. All right, he is, but he went through a stretch where he wasn't. Like he had a, a good week one, and then like five bad. You know yeah. what I mean? Either way, I just think the, the Bengals are way more consistent in that sense. Um, yeah, those are two teams on the bye. Let's yeah. So basically, the thing here is, you know, you're missing some guys from the bye week. Now you need to plug some new guys in, and I need to find out: Are you scared to start them? This is delicious, by the way. Is this <gasps> flavored? Vanilla. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna say there's something, something, something. Yeah. yeah. That's good. That really completes tasty. the look you got going on. I want to light this up so bad. That's the the, the next office. Is this a no? Right. Yeah. The this the no smoking? Next right office there. needs to oh, have fuck. a cigar lounge where we can smoke cigars and be other. Did you make that happen? Smoking substances. We have like seven rooms that could be cigar lounges. Honestly. Well, I don't think they qualify legally, but we could make them one for sure. All right. We're gonna start with the quarterback position. I'm gonna read a player. I'll tell you his sleeper projection points. And then you tell me if you're scared to start them this week. Simple. Mac Jones <gasps> at the New York Jets projected 14.98 points. Nothing good about this. Well, this is what I'm Do saying. Do even know if Mac Jones is starting? Well, he's supposed to start, but are you scared at all? Yes. Because maybe that, you know, Bailey's happy, he made a bad yes. throw. Yes. What's the deal with Mac Jones? That's one of the most scariest players, I would say, in the NFL at this moment to start. We saw it the other night. Guy goes in, makes a couple bad plays, boom. Bailey Zappi's there. You know, you can't trust this guy at all. They're playing the Jets. Jets have a great defense. Great, great pass rush. You got to think. He's going to be uh, having some pressure on him. Makes one bad interception, one bad play. Yeah. Boom, Bailey Zappi's in. Yeah. It ain't even that deep. It's just that he doesn't have a leash. The Jets defense has been dynamite. He's been terrible. Like, lock it up. Next. Yeah, the no leash. All right, so terrified. Mac Jones yeah, like, he's like, <laughs> probably like the most terrifying player to start. QB, and plus, like, QB 30 on the week. It's horrible when the crowd, I know they're playing in New York, but when the crowd has the back of the backup, it's always the worst. Like, when you see the shot of the starter that just goes out, do you? Do you feel bad for him at all? Or no, do you he's a professional football he's player? He's a professional football player, fuck famous. That. Okay. Yeah, fuck I it. feel a little bad. Maybe I'm a nicer bad. guy than you guys, the but time, I feel a little bad. The only time I feel bad in situations like that is in college when there's like a senior quarterback who loses his job yep. to like a freshman or like a, a, a way underclass, and I'm like, damn, this kid. Yeah. Tough, tough. life right now. Yeah. Yeah. Professional about now. Grow up. All right. all right. Trevor Lawrence versus the Denver Broncos in London projected 15 and a half points. In London. Terrified. The Broncos currently allow the single fewest points per game, fantasy points per game, to opposing yeah. quarterbacks. Number four in the NFL for points um, allowed. Or, no, you know what I mean? It's overall. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not a good matchup for T-Law. He's going to move down the ranks. He also hasn't really been that strong of a performer. Um, I'm more excited to see what Travis Etienne can do in this game. But T-Law, yeah, I'm also, it's spooky season upon him. Yeah, he's not good in America. He's not going to be good in London. I don't know. He just doesn't have it yet. He's still early in his career. You know, I, I always think back to Matt Ryan. He kind of like sucked, sucked, and then he was great. I just, give Trevor just, Lawrence, he needs another true. year under his belt. Just Matt Ryan's first true. completion was a 66-yard touchdown pass to Roddy White. Like right, he well, was good right away. Is that true? Literally from his first. Is that true? Falcons I'd fan? love to see the stats on that. Some of I'm stats. sure it's true. I don't need stats on that. It's a fucking fact. First, all right, besides, first drive, well, all right, how was the second, the second pass, third pass, fourth pass? It was probably Hail Mary to Julio Jones, fucking touchdown to the next five Jeez, passes. He had Julio Jones. This Not guy yet. was getting the in the world. He didn't yet. I think his first year in the NFL was the only year he didn't throw for over 4,000 yards or something like that. All right, so I'm full of shit. Yeah. I mean, okay. We already knew that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. 
All right. Well, <laughs> all right. You know that's what I'm also, saying. That's also not true. He had three, his first three seasons were under 4,000 yards. Thank you. All right. Fuck you. All right. Fuck so you. you full of Apologies. <laughs> Apologies. Say it. No, he was always fire from the yeah. rip. Okay. That was back in the day where it was, we didn't have inflation. Fire. That was he wasn't fire. He was a little. 18 little, years ago or whatever. Yeah. There wasn't inflation no. on passing yards at that point. Yeah. Yet. Oh, you're bringing inflation into yeah, it. Yeah, I could, I could tie I the right. economy into everything. That's, that's All right. exactly. All right. All right. I mean, I was right. Last quarterback, Aaron Rodgers at Buffalo projected 16.18 points. <laughs> Why are you just giving us, like, the worst fucking QB? Because these are the he guys that, like— He wants us to be scared. He wants, wants us to be scared. Are you scared to play? Because it's Aaron Rodgers. I'm fucking scared. I'm fucking scared. But he's been terrible this year. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers yeah. is checked out. Aaron no, Rodgers, Rodgers is checked out. Dude, no. after every pass he throws, he's like— <laughs> Every single pass, every single game, he's always complaining. He's he's in the booth after saying, "Oh, you know this team, that team." No, fuck him. Yeah, none of these guys are are touching my line. The Bills are, done, are really good against the pass. Yeah. Great pass rush. The, the the Packers O line is not good. He's not good. Their weapons aren't good. Nothing nothing's good about this. Fucking let's move on to Thanksgiving. Let's move on to running backs. Let's go with oh. a uh, a newcomer to the fantasy scene this uh, week. Yeah, last week, Deonta Foreman at. Atlanta projected 8.81 points. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I personally think uh, Foreman's a pretty good running back. Falcons have actually had a little bit of an underrated defense this year. They're inconsistent. Some games are good. Some games are bad. I like Foreman. Chuba got a little bit banged up. I think he should be fine to go for it. 15 for 118 on the ground last week. We so. saw a lot of those performances last year when he took over for Henry, too. I feel like we just kind of underrated him as a uh, as a group on Foreman. You know, I feel like we should have been more proactive about he's getting a, a little bit excited. He's a good size running back. I mean, he's 6 feet, 235. Like, he's... If he can get, and I need to see him get like those fifteen carries though. He will. He's one hundred percent. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If he can actually get work, I don't want the. I'm sick of running backs getting nine touches, eleven touches. If I have Foreman, I'm I'm pretty. I, I'm putting him in my lineup as a flex for sure. For sure. Yeah, Carolina sucks. They really can't throw, so they have nothing else to do besides just kind of keep the clock running, hand the ball off. You know, he's going to get all the goal line carries. I don't have much faith in them. Who's the quarterback? P.J. Walker. Yeah. I mean, he was good in what the XFL was he? In, was he the guy in the XFL? Yeah, I think he's so. been around the NFL for a while, but yeah, I think he had a, a good run in the XFL recently. Yeah, I mean, I have no faith in their team. So you think you, Falcons mercy them this week? What's the mercy? Twenty one. I love the Falcons. Uh, Same against the spread. Love it this week, especially know. with the Panthers coming off a huge win last week. They're still celebrating, thinking they're a good. Huge win. Still thinking they're good, and they're not. All right, Michael Carter versus the New England Patriots sleeper projection thirteen points. I'm just not scared at all of that. I love it. I'm a little scared. The Patriots somehow just every year clamp running backs down. Yeah. Also, for no reason. Especially jet running backs. You know, you got a little bit of a situation there with James Robinson and Ty Johnson. Not like a situation, but yeah. like they're there. Is James Robinson going to come in and get carries? That's that's a good question. Cool. You should be scared of. Uh, I, I think Carter's a guy. I, I'm, I'm going to play him this week, but I'm a little spooked. All right. I'm a little. I'm home alone. I heard a noise upstairs. You know? Nothing crazy. But I'm not going to go look. I'm just going to continue watching my movie. I'm going to yeah, put him in my cool. lineup and be done with it. It's probably the cat I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> the cat I don't have. All right. It's probably Ma. David Montgomery at Dallas. Sleeper projection, 10.2 points. Now, this is a guy that got out-touched by Khalil Herbert last week, but he's still the starter. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm not playing any Chicago Bears. That's like a rule I play by every year. <laughs> Stay away from the Chicago Bears at, at will. Then I don't have to watch their games. I don't have to be involved in their franchise. Like, well, it's a good, it's a that's a good rule. life decision. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. You know it's when fair. it's like a Thursday night game and it's like the Titans versus the, bra uh, the what Bears? Are they? The Bears? I don't have to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I just don't have to watch it. Yeah. No, uh, I'm very scared of that. Yeah, I think uh, one, he did out-touch Herbert last week, but very slightly. Oh, he Her did? Herbert outproduced him, though. Okay. What was um, it, like 12 to 11? It was, it was 15 to like 13 or 14 yeah. or some shit like that. Very close. But I think Herbert's going to continue to chip away at his work and get more and more involved. And now you're talking about a committee behind a bad old line against a good defense. And yeah, Montgomery's a dude that I don't I don't want my lineup unless, you know, he's like uh, he's like Junior Mints. It's like, damn, I don't really want to eat this candy, but if I don't have any other candy left, I guess I'll throw him yeah. into my Yo, lineup. Yo, he is like Junior Mints. <laughs> yeah. That's like exactly what I was thinking Junior about. Junior Mint Montgomery, dog. He's Junior Mints. I don't want to tell, tell you what, I my brain is it. working right yeah, now. Yeah, you're on fire right now. All right, go. let's keep it going. Yeah. Darrell Henderson versus San Francisco 49ers. Mm, 49ers. 49ers. Uh, 49ers. Sleeper projection, 11 points. Uh, Cam Akers has been being held out for personal reasons. Yeah, what is that? What do you think the personal I mean, reason is? They're trying to trade him, I think. Mm. Uh, it doesn't seem very personal. That seems more of like <laughs> yeah. a you issue. Yeah, you know what's weird? Yeah, the, the weirdest part is it's coming off a game where he had a bunch of touches. So yeah. it wasn't like he went in there and was like, I need more touches. And, and then shit got construed. So I don't know. I think that was them like, hey, other teams, look, he can get 20 touches. And yeah. Play. <laughs> 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 ship him. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, but Kyron Williams, they opened up the 21-day window for him to return. Next he's, week, right? Yeah, he's not going to play this week. So it's still all Darrell right now. San Francisco's a good, uh, good defense. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna start Darrell if I have him probably just because he's gonna be the guy. In yeah, that he's the only field. guy. Their O line is so fucked though, which is what kind of scares me. Um, I, I I throw Darrell in though. I I'd be playing him. That play him over Montgomery. That offense is underperforming like crazy, huh? It, it starts at the O line. We're seeing a lot of teams. I feel like just crumble because we don't actually have the blocking yeah, up front. O line's just been bad around the league for the like, most part. Like the Rams, we for the last yeah. like three years they've been really solid. So you see their <laughs> offense like humming. Same thing with yeah. the Packers and stuff too. They lose a couple of linemen. It's all fucking you know everything goes. I out. always feel like that's like a key to like knowing when someone understands the game of football and even how to bet is when they know about offensive lines and defensive lines. They're obviously the most important thing in an NFL game. And to the casual, to the casual fan, sometimes I'm pretty casual. To the casual. 90, 95, 98% casual fan. I'm like 97% casual. Like, I'm like, oh, this, team, this team's got uh, Joe Blow and whoever, and they're great. They're great, but their offensive line sucks, and that's, and you're and you're fucked then. You know, like, Rams have great guys, no offensive line, I guess. I agree. I think a lot of guys in the NFL, like, can play running back, can play quarterback, yeah. but they just need a, a legit line to actually line. do it. It sucks when it people are in your sense. face. Yeah, exactly. So, I, mean, um, I guess that. All right, last running back. Najee Harris no. at Philadelphia. I know Nick hates him. Sleeper projection, 11.8 points. He, is he, like, here's the thing. It's not a, like, I know it almost feels like I'm doing a bit here, but no, he's been so bad this year. I agree, yeah. but does he ever, like, do you think he can turn it around? Obviously, no. Philly's probably not the best team to. Uh, not this week, at least. Yeah, is no. he going to turn around? I, dude, he just doesn't look good. I feel like he's the same running back that he was last year, but they're not on the goal line. They're not throwing him passes. So he's like, he's just as fucking slow and whatever as he was last year. Yeah, no, yeah. Najee's shot. Although, what'd you say, 11.8? Yeah, not, I mean, I don't think he scored over twelve points. points this year, though. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't think he scored over twelve. Like He's, his best, he'll have, a, he'll have a touchdown and still finish with like twelve points. It's insane. See, I'm a little scared to play him, like a little bit, like a little, little scare. You know, yeah, half point like PPR, ABC, He's ABC family kind 11. of eleven point nine. I do think that he'll he'll touch that number though. I have He's to the start guy. him in E Town Get Down because I have no other choice. But like, well, that's the thing. This is like one of those things where like you hear a creak in the like downstairs in the basement. Yeah, and, like yeah. you have to go down there. Nope. And see what's it, what it is. Like no. you're scared, but you have to do it. Najee. You got to invest. No, when I hear a creak Najee. in the base, creak, when I'm not creaky, going down yeah, there. Najee Creek. You're scared, Najee but you got to start. Harris. Him. You're scared, Set. but you got to start him. No. Who are you starting over him? Unless your team's got, unless you got depth, you, you got to start Najee. Yeah, we're out on Najee. No. Sorry. Fuck. All right, let's get to the wide receivers. Do it. Uh, here's a guy, Michael Pittman versus uh, Washington Commanders. Sleeper projection, 11.7 points. But keep in mind, Sam Ellinger is his quarterback this week and oh. ongoing, apparently. But, you know, this is the first week mm, with Sam Ellinger, so Sam are you Ellinger. as scared at all? I'm a little bit intrigued. I'm more intrigued than I am scared. Ooh. I think most people are scared because you're like, oh, Ellinger, we don't really know what he is as a passer. He might be bad. But I also feel like a lot of times when these backup guys come in, they'll they'll get like a one, two, three game string of good performances. And a lot of times they come in and kind of just lean on a guy. Like, we see with Taylor Heineke, it happens to Terry McLaurin, right? Like, yeah. when started going yeah. to Dotson, he started going to Curtis Samuel, he started going to everywhere. Uh, he gets in, and boom, it's like back to McLaurin again. I think we might see a really high-volume game for Michael Pittman this week. I don't know if he's going to be good with the targets, but yeah. I feel like it could be all right. Like, Ellinger goes in there, Pittman's my best receiver. I'm just going to exactly. try and hit 12 targets, yeah, 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 maybe like six catches yeah. for 70 yards, something like that. Use but. him as a crutch. But plus, like, yeah, no, I got to agree. And Paris Campbell agree. and um, Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce have been getting involved. Obviously, it's a whole different offense now, but... I kind of feel like those are the guys that are going to be, like, useless now yes. with with him back in. Ellinger but. runs, though, right? He runs? Yes. He's a runner. You got to think the Colts are probably going to rely on, on JT a little bit more yeah. with him in there. So, it's, you know, it's give and take. I'm going to go a little scared on that one, then. You know, just because new quarterback, he runs a lot, which means his mentality is not to force balls, necessarily, where his mentality is, if I don't see anything, if I instead of taking the risky throw, I'm going to run the ball. Yeah. Like Chucky, right? Like, it's... It's a doll, but it's scary. But like you could, you could. You're not really keep, that. You're not really that worried. Keep these coming, by the way. Not yeah, really yeah, that worried. Like you're you're not logic, that worried. you shouldn't be scared yeah. about it. But like, like you it's know, a doll. It, yeah. When but it he kills happens people, to you, you yeah. shouldn't be scared. But he'll ruin your day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, right, all right. Oh yeah. All right. I like this. <laughs> all right. I like this. Let's go with uh, this one's a little specific because we got Marquise Goodwin versus the New York Giants. If DK Metcalf doesn't play, he's got to be out. No. I don't know. There's not like uh, everything I looked at said like, yeah, mo that's what I'm saying. It looks like he's going to be out, but it's not confirmed yet. So mm. that's why it's, you know, if DK doesn't play Marquise Goodwin, I want to say no. Like we should Marquise Goodwin's old as fuck. Like we should know sleeper projection 6.4 points. That's low. We should. We, I mean, we know what he is at the, at this point in his career, but what about that. We thought we knew what Gino was. But too, we, exactly. And this might be a revenge game for Gino going back to New York where he got publicly embarrassed and Gino's playing some of the best football we've seen out of a quarterback this year. How is that even possible? Uh, who fucking knows? Sorry. Yeah. You're like, yours. <laughs> what is What's going on? No, here? Jared's just looking Jared at looks me like from a the window. Why is he doing that? Like that's down. like a little yeah. scared. Like looking at Jared's face with his mustache. Just like a little scared. And then I'm like, oh, it's Jared. He's kidding. That's what happens to me during deal or no deal. I can't stop looking at Bankerson's face. Throws me off. 
A little uh, scared. Listen, I mean, Marquise Goodwin is hard not to be uh, like a little terrified right now, but I'm yeah. I'm actually in better spirits than I than I thought I would be. You know, I don't know. Playing in New York, New York Giants, they've looked pretty good. Defense they been have. solid. Yeah, their defense has been solid. Um, Third fewest fantasy points per game to think only, opposing wide receivers. Yeah, I feel like they've only let up like more than twenty points once, right? Yeah. I'd have to check the weather. I could have lied. I got to check the weather. See, you know, if it's a windy uh, day, half PPR, if it's a they windy have no, day. They have their, their highest point total to a, to a fantasy receiver was CeeDee Lamb, 18.7. And then underneath that, 13.6 was the highest. It was to Kirk last week, actually. But no, nah, they've been pretty dynamite. Maybe maybe I am terrified. I think, I think you I'm, should be a little more scared. Yeah. You, you, you're you the guy that's way too confident early on in the movie. Like when he hears, he's like, I'll check it out. I just, yeah. ate, I just ate mints to find out that it was actually drugs. It was Molly. <laughs> That's what's just happening to me right now. Marquise Molly Goodwin. All right. A guy who's been super disappointing all season. Uh, Allen Robinson versus San Francisco. I can't believe you even put him on here. Sleeper 7.7. Well, because he, sc- he's unstartable. He, he scored a touchdown last week. So what did I hear? So, all right, fine. How about this? Ben Skoranek. Goat. The wide receiver two in LA. The real wide receiver two. Are you really going to start anyone besides Cup in that passing game? Or Higby, I guess? Well, here's a, how about this? Let me let me go with this. Go, give it to me. Are you scared to start anyone else besides Cup? Did I say that right? You didn't. That was a proper English The sentence. way you said it was like, we're scared to start Cooper Cup. Are you scared to start we're starting another Cooper, player yeah. on the Rams other than Cooper Cup? Yeah, all yeah. of them. Only Cooper Cup. All right. Well, then never mind, you guys. I thought that one was, you know. All right, that was whatever. Okay. okay. It's a tough pass defense, and Robinson's been so shit. I yeah, can't imagine yeah. putting him in a lineup at this point. I know, but these are the ones that, these are the guys that just end up doing well. That's why. I guess. What do you mean? The bad players end up doing well? Yeah. So Stay away from the shitty where you teams, expect man. them to not, like, do anything, and then they go out there, and they're just like, hey. Um, all right, I got I got one last one here. What do you got? And this one, I don't think you really should be, but. Be like got, KJ Ham. No, no, no. Tyler Boyd at Cleveland projected for 8.7 points. Now, this is a guy that has been, you know, he's been pretty good the past two weeks, but, you know, there was the T. Higgins thing, and then there's it's a lot of mouths to feed there. I'm kind of in on Boyd as, like, a, a real player week in and week out now. I think uh, the Bengals have been throwing the ball at, 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 like, a crazy volume right now. Joey B is back. Joey fucking Shiesty is really going crazy He looks crazy confident. Right now. He looks like, you, I think, uh, what was the injury he was dealing with that, like, everyone kind of forgot about? He had an appendectomy. Oh, an appendectomy? Yeah, an appendectomy. Yeah, an appendectomy. And uh, I feel like What that, is that, by the way? Like Same. when they take your appendix out? Oh, no, he'll be... Yeah. I was saying that was like during training camp. Isn't that appendicitis? Like the first, yeah. That's and, what I thought. And That's the surgery is an appendectomy. Oh. So I think he was recovering from that the first like two weeks. That first game where he threw four picks or whatever, I think that like all that, and now he's just finally starting to really feel good. Okay. Yeah, I mean... Tyler Boyd. I saw Tyler Boyd's dad tweet a couple of weeks ago, like, my boy is the best wide receiver in the <laughs> league. So, like, I believe him. <laughs> yeah, like, like, sir, I'm going for that. So, all right. That's, that's it. That's all it takes for I'm, me. In, I'm, I'm in on Boyd for sure. All right, yeah. cool. All His right. dad's confident. I'm confident. Not scared at all. They're just not giving Mixon the ball? Fuck it. Sling it. Sling it, shiesty. Two kind of tight what they ends. did last week, right? They just kind of so they've been in the last yeah. couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I blinked, and they were up 14 nothing last week. All right, two tight ends to end it. Harrison Bryant versus Cincinnati. Sleeper projection, 6.4. David Njoku out with the ankle sprain. Yeah, this feels like one of those things that people try to force into being a thing. Like, we really haven't seen. Has Harrison Bryant, like, ever had a good game in the NFL? Outside? He did. He had, like, a two-touchdown game, and it was, like, 80 yards maybe. He um, mm-hmm. He's athletic, and he looks good on the field. It's just, like. Like, he won the Mackey Award. Um, oh. He had a two-touchdown game two years ago. And then he had, okay, so what happened was. Last year, terrible. He had three a game, a uh, 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 spree, scoring a touchdown in three straight games. But the yardage total in those three games was eleven yards, one yard, one yard. That's because Baker was a guy who would always target his tight ends in the red zone. This dude had two back to back games with one catch, one yard, one touchdown. Yeah, Baker targets his tight ends in the in the end zone. Yeah, this feels zone. like uh, one where everyone's going to get like weirdly high on, only to be like. Ain't it? The only reason I bring it up is because Njoku has been playing very well and getting targeted a yeah. lot. Don't so. get me wrong. I think I think you could I think you could put him in just because like the narrative is there. You know, he's top twelve guy maybe like on the borderline fringish, and there there are a lot of guys that need a top twelve tight end for this week. So I'm not I'm not against it. I'm so fucking scared. <laughs> I honestly, I uh, to be honest, I'm a casual. Like I said, I don't know who this is. I don't. Is he a backup tight end? Yes. Yeah. Fuck him. I'm scared. As fuck. <laughs> like, All right. I love fucking that. Fucking Jason's outside my door. So I got a guy knocking that you on do the door. Know, so don't worry. Hit me the, with it. The last one. This is Taysom Hill versus Las Vegas Raiders sleeper projection six point one nine points. Uh, six points. But it's Taysom Hill. I'm in on Taysom this week. I feel like you have to start him at. The, if you can start him as a tight end, yeah. If you could start him as a tight end, that's like the hack. 
Yeah. It's like a, you feel like you're getting away with something. So any you know, moment you can step there. under center and just fucking. As long as keep. Winston's, as long as Dalton's the quarterback, Taysom's going to get some run. Yeah. Yeah. I'm and in you know on what? Like I'm it, in he, on him. When it comes down to it, it's like, oh, he's going to run. He's going to run. Boom. He throws it over the top. Touchdown. He doesn't really throw it a lot or ever. Exactly. But he'll run it for 40 yards. No, but I'm saying like, oh, he's not going to throw it. Boom. He does throw it. Yeah. If it, yeah. He's, he's, is he over under a half a pass attempt this game coming up? Under? Oh, risky. Over. All right. What's the bet? Um, do you think that was going to do something? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, you have to eat a piece up? of candy. You like, you're going to fucking a eat candy anyway. for a Snicker. Because I hate Snickers. So sure. I'll have to eat it. Sure. We'll figure something out. Devastating punch. Yeah, whoa. Tune back in for that <laughs> you one. You put me on the spot. I wasn't ready. All right. Uh, that's all we got for the, uh, are you f- scared of these players this about, week segment? about a spray tan? About the left, <laughs> the leftover punishments from Deal or No Deal. A spray tan. Oh, loser. No, I'm not. I have to do more research for that. I can't look. I don't even know if Taysom Hill threw it. I don't know if Taysom Hill threw a pass last week. I don't think he did. Well, then don't be making bets on live television That's when you can't yeah, fucking yeah, cash a check. I tell you what, though, that, that list you compiled, a lot of scary players on there. Yeah. A lot Only of scary, scary players, right? Um, listen, it's October 27th. Oh, fuck. It's my sister's birthday today. Oh, text her. Let's all text her. We, uh, I don't know. I have time. to do it first. What was the, what was the number? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that real sexy? What breaking news? Wait, breaking, breaking news. Breaking, breaking motherfucker. My mojo portfolio is oh, wow. about to go crazy. Wait, hold on. Yeah! Mojo, play that fucking clip. What, Harrison. what, what, what? Give me the news. Is that why he was looking at us before? He Kadarius, looks so giddy. Kadarius Tony no. traded to the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> Hold up, I gotta hit the mojo. Kadarius Tony is on the Kansas City Chiefs. Dude, there are a lot of mouths to feed there. I guess I'll just talk. Uh, I'm trying to pick him up in the league. Hold on. Our league? No. I got him. Dude, that guy sucked on the Giants. He's going to suck on Hold the Chiefs. Hold up. When we were in Hoboken. Chiefs. Why are you crying? Oh, oh he's a Giant, One right? When we were in Hoboken this weekend, yeah. and we got onto the bus. We did like a five-minute segment. The bus? Where I had to the choose a player that I was going in on and going long on because I thought he was going to get traded. Yeah. Kadarius oh, Tony, and they ripped me for five minutes while it was on camera getting shot at. Kadarius Tony. Dude. Kadarius <laughs> Tony. We're going long on Tony. Hear me out. Sure. They need playmakers on the field. It's Tony's time soon. Trade deadline's here. Now's, the, now's the time. I'm pretty sure he's been a healthy scratch. You're buying yes. a healthy scratch. So why not get rid of him? Let let him fresh start elsewhere. It would have happened already. No, what do you it's mean? Not- the trade deadline didn't pass. Also, it, it how would it have no already one, happened? You're going to trade for Kadarius Tony? Who does that? There's obviously a reason he's not on the field, and then the teams are going to want to find out what that reason is. And I feel like when they find out the reason is he stinks, they're not going to want him. He's a first round pick. You know how many chances yeah, he's, he's getting in the NFL? Plus. That happens all the time. They, they haven't let him prosper. Do you remember? Remember that one game he had last year as a rookie? The one game. One game. You're buying off of one game. Yeah. Like, There's a lot of players that, that have no big games. I'll put a third towards Tony right Here's now. Here's the problem. I think you just paid more for Tony than other teams are going to pay for Tony. You don't think they put $50 on him? <laughs> no. There you go. Multiply. Three Talk X. about the worst trade ever. That's off. That's a win. I mean, we were supposed to rip you. What's Yeah, that was like the whole thing. Uh, well, I need yeah. to know. I need to know what his mojo price is right now. You want to apologize? No. Just live on live right now. Apologize. Not. Do it, coward. All right, let's talk about it. So breaking news, Kadarius Tony traded to the Kansas City Chiefs. The trade deadline is October 31st? November 1st. November 1st, so next Tuesday. So we might see a lot of movement. There's been a lot of talk about like wide receivers moving. Tony going to the Chiefs is like the first, I feel like, fun trade that's happened in a while that people are excited about for fantasy. He's obviously been just rotting away in New York. I don't even understand what's happening Why? With him. That's what I'm going to ask. Why do you think they trade him? You think because nobody likes him? Because he's obviously a talent. I mean, he's a problem behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't know if it was like a... It's it's uh, it's a, like it's like a T.O. situation where he's he's being... Uh, yeah, exactly. Looking for, but he hasn't, he hasn't proved to be like worth it talent What's the word you're looking for? He's like a drama queen. He's yeah, like, uh, like, like a nuisance like to okay. the team, but he's not providing enough on-field value yet where like you can deal with it. Exactly, know? and yeah. you just got to get rid of those guys. You I wonder like what they got Dayball's in not. They got a third and a sixth. Dayball's just third not the kind of guy to deal with that bullshit, right? No, nah, I mean, it's just a locker room. It's two years in a row, two different coaching staffs. Yeah. Like, it's uh, obviously, it's a him thing, but he goes over to Kansas City now, and they've got a wide receiver group up for fucking grabs. Yeah. Like, Hardman, Juju's been fine, but, like, again, he's been really streaky. I think he's a fucking great playmaker for them. Yeah. I love See, that. the thing with this is I think all it does is just boost Mahomes. Maybe. I don't think it, it really gives K- Kadarius Tony any more. I mean, it gives him more value, obviously, if he's going to be out of field, <laughs> but... More than zero, yes. You know, it's gonna, he's going to be. It's going to be so. F- I don't in, think it makes a wiggle for Mahomes. I Mahomes think. is the same player. I don't think if Kadarius Tony's there or not, it'll, it'll help him or hurt him well, in I any think way. He's got another explosive weapon. Like with Andy Reid, he's going to be cooking up some nice yeah. fucking. Nice oh, yeah, plays. hey, let's let's cook up those Kadarius Tony plays. That's just not going to happen. You know what's going to happen? That's he's, just not going to happen. 
Who do you mean? Yeah, dude. You know what kind of goal line? Like, what do you mean? What thought? do you mean? The guy's been in the NFL it's for how many years? Literally, why they traded years, for him? They gave up a third and a six. They're gonna try and use him. First no, game. He's, he's like a like a charity case. His stat line. Let's see first if we can game. change. And guess what? You can never change people like that. I called him a long time ago. We did a video. I called him Odell 2.0. And there was a couple of Giants fans. Like, oh, Odell 2.0. That's bullshit. He's you not. Act He's like definitely you, not. You act like you were right on that call. I'm right on that. Odell has been awesome. Odell was like a Hall of Fame player for three years. No, but Arizona no, 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 fucking done no but I'm saying like he's a pain in the ass off the field. I said it was New York Giants. That's also why I said it. But he was kind of like an Odell 2.0. Like nobody likes him. Not that nobody likes him. He's just a nuisance. And then you got to get rid of him. That's Odell 2.0. I'm going you know to take a win on that. You know what his first stat line is going to be? I'll guess it right now. Three catches, four yards, three touchdowns. You no. know how fucking good he's going to be on the goal <laughs> Fuck line? That. You know no. how good he's going to be at on screens for the Chiefs on the goal line? I don't. I don't think. Right, because uh, you can't even, your brain doesn't work How many like games this. are left? How many games are left? Fucking seven. Seven games. I don't know. I just made No, nah, I think there's more. There's more yeah. games left. Yeah. Over under three touchdowns. Three and a half. I'll give three and a half. That's a lot. That's a fair. That's a, that's a, that's a far too big of a line. Yeah. Well, definitely. you said it. Like on, George under. Pickens' line for the year to start was two and a half. Okay, so what Before do you want to say? Kadarius well, Tony's I'll go on. He'll score three the first game, and then he, and then he'll probably get <laughs> suspended or something like that. Yeah. No yeah, way. I, 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 I like it more for Pat. I don't think it's... I'd be surprised if he ever becomes like a weekly sit-start question. for the Yeah, year. like I went and picked him up in one league that has like the, the waivers where you can pick up a guy anytime just because I had dropped Rex Burkhead for him, so I don't care. But like, you know... Oh, we'll you're gonna, see, you're gonna miss him. Exactly. So, um, I mean, I'm not going crazy to 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 make a trade for him here or drop anybody like that is an actual starter for him. But yeah. uh, it's nice. It's a nice little piece. I feel like that's probably yeah. all there is to talk about on it for now. And you're the fantasy man right now. You're the top dog. Top dog in E Town. Get down. I don't want to talk on it too long because you talk on something a long time. It you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one, the one year you were top well, dog and you made a poem or something, yeah, right? You wrote a haiku yeah, about and it. Yeah, I'll be in last place by the end of the week, so that's why I'm not going to talk about it. But it's pretty cool if you're familiar with E Town Get Down. You are looking at the top dog. This is not my Halloween costume. I am the top dog. That's what he wears. You want your Halloween costume to be Stefan Diggs? I wouldn't hate it. Yeah, actually, I don't want you to put this on though because we got to give it to somebody. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, 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 we're doing a free that. giveaway. This is a signed Stefan Diggs Bills helmet. The signature is right there. He's got a really interesting. So it's just one big S. That's like a throwback. Yeah. No idea who it was. He's got a big S and then just like goes like that a bunch of times and you just S D. Yeah, you just S M D. That's not S D <laughs> at all. So, Pristine Auction has given this to us for free, and we're going to give it to one of you guys for free. Literally, all you got to do is go down to the link in our description. Takes you to Pristine Auction. When you sign up for the first time, use the code BDGE on the sign-up form. It's free. You don't have to actually put money down, but they have incredulous auctions running at all times for helmets, for jerseys, for hats, for bats, for mats, for candy. They got it all. They've got it all. I don't suggest you eat candy with a Sharpie signature on it, but... Um, unless it's Stefan Diggs's. Unless it's, yeah. Uh, there's not much to it. But seriously, you put that in your man cave, put that in your room. That's fucking cool. I really enjoy that. Sorry you're going to get $10 off your first auction that you enter if you use promo code BDGE as well. So you're basically getting two for the price of one. Stefan Diggs, the GOAT signature. ForSceneAuction.com. Go check it out. All right. Heard of goats. Y'all ready? <laughs> Bang! I can't hear. Oh, skrr. Yeah, skrr. Heard of goats. Y'all know the rules. This is uh, a snake draft. Today's topic is candy. It's Halloween candy, candy. Andy. Oops. Oops. That was actually perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought, I, I thought you were I, waiting to do that, weren't you? I was going to try and catch them all, obviously, but yes. Gotta all, catch right. Them all. all right. Who's one starting? One. I'm a rip. I'm going to rip. I'm going to make a quick, like, band-aid rip 101. This is an absolute layup for a seven-footer. It is a Reese's peanut butter cup. Had to be 101. I mean, is that why you wanted the 101? You just any, wanted a- any candy or any sort of food that involves the ingredient peanut butter yep. automatically launches into its own tier. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to explain this for a long time. It's, it's Reese's. Come on. Didn't uh, didn't you get a five-pound one once? I did. I got the Reese's uh, pie, the limited edition one from Thanksgiving last year. I copped it for like 50 okay. bucks. It started reselling on eBay 24 hours later because it sold out for like $600. Holy shit. And I didn't sell it. Because I love my family. <laughs> Yo, you sign, will you sign that for me? I would sign a giant Reese's cup. <laughs> All right, I'll take I would. it. Wow, really? So wait, you had a chance to... I have to... in the background of my videos, my normal this, YouTube yeah. videos, yeah, yeah, there's a there's a big giant box. I brought it... But I, it is that just jumbo? It's not. They. It is, it is. Last in, false advertising. No, 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 it is, but they use different ingredients. You could tell... Yeah, it's more like a cake, right? 
No, no, no. It's no, no, no. It's a giant Reese's, but the peanut butter is like peanut butter that you would get from like Whole Foods or trade. It's like natural peanut butter, and it doesn't taste well with the Reese's. It's a different ingredient. I think they had to do it because of how big it was to make it like stay together or some yeah. shit. I'm telling you, it tasted funky. Just put more Reese's peanut butter in it for I'm that tell- reason. It tasted I'm funky. Out. Yeah. I'm out on that. I'm out. Fuck Reese's. All right, so miniatures, miniatures. Yeah. Well, Actually, no, I mean, just the Reese's peanut butter Just cup. the Reese's peanut butter cup. The, yeah. uh, the, the smaller one that, ones, though, the bite-sized ones. Those are not as good. No, they're not as good. They're not as good. Not as good. Actually, you know what ones are the goat? The Easter Bunny Reese's the, ones? The, the egg. Are the actually, egg. yeah, the goat. got it written right here, the egg. Oh, you can't take that. Well, I know. I figured, yeah. Those are the goat, though. <laughs> if I had to if <laughs> I had to clarify, yeah, let's do one. Yeah, right let's now. do one. Oh. Fuck it, let's do it. I'm going to do it live. Fuck it. I enjoyed that. This is the best 101. You know what I like? I'm going to go second. Hit me with it. I'm going to hit... I'm gonna break you off a piece of that Kit Kat bar, my oh. dog. Oh, I love Kit Kats. I love a crispy. I like everything crispy for the yeah. most part. So Kit Kats with the wafer in it. Yeah, that's just Chalk- chocolate and wafer, right? It's just chocolate and wafer, but I I, I prefer the king size, and you Kit just Kats sit there and just I'm, 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 yeah. just like crunch them. You go like, single at a time, or do you single? It's a great question. You ever you fuck around and just eat four? Like you take a bite out of the four? I have. It doesn't. It tastes like a different candy bar. Yeah. yeah. It's just not the same. No, it's not. Yeah, you break it off, and I do like the like the tree thing, like I'm 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 you know all the way in like my like a the bad tree, asshole. Yeah, the tree thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, I get it. I didn't yeah. like, what? You know what I'm talking yeah, about. You've done it. it. You like any uh you like any variations of the Kit Kat? You like the Ridge? Uh, I mean, there's some I've, variations. I've dabbled. Like, I don't fuck with the green tea or whatever. But Hell no. There's, green tea. Like, I had like a strawberry one. Green was pretty tea. good. There's strawberry is okay. The, strawberry. the white one is kind of trash. White chocolate. Yeah, white chocolate. Oh, trash. I didn't know that. I, I didn't. Know you know, that. what I really love is the, good, the okay. single, the big. Actually, they do a mint one. I think the green one would be mint. Yeah, no, the mints they, are good though. They have green tea too, but yeah, mint. They have. They make the big cat, the big Kit Kat bar. It's just yeah. like mm. it's like a, a single strip, but they make it bigger. It's awesome. Great. All right, Steve. Why don't you? Uh, All right. Why don't you ruin your you ruin your draft with your first two picks? No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, one hundred and three. Got to be said. Max already said before he doesn't like it. I will go with Snickers. That's insane. I think you played it safe. Snicker. What do you mean playing it safe? It's a it's a quality candy bar. Everybody right. loves it's, Snickers. It's quality. It's probably one of the highest selling candy bars in America. It, maybe other countries. I don't know. Now you're like in the music industry. Where you're like this guy's the best artist because he sells the most records. All right, Not all right. the same. Are you gonna thing. get a pull like that? Oh, look at that pull. Caramel Inside. also it's wildly overrated. Nougat, great thing to have in a candy bar. Caramel, there's some peanuts in there. It's got the the texture, the chocolate you're looking for, the nougat, the... Um, is there, where do you see nougat? Is, that on is it nougat? I don't know. I said I'm nougat. Sure. Anything I don't know, I'm going to say it nougat. It says contains peanuts, milk, egg, and soy. I do have one issue with Snickers. Their fucking commercials are brutal. I hate them. Has you know where it's like one guy that turns into... He's like, hey, are you hungry? I think it's a pretty good marketing campaign. I, th- I How think many it was times? pretty good, too. How it has times? a lot of staying power. I get it. How many times have you been hungry and been like, oh, my God, I need a, I need a Snickers? Never, but you still... Like, Never. You know, like, you think about Snickers it. It is a weird or... direction that they tried to go from a candy bar to, like, here's a fucking meal replacement. Oh, like, <laughs> <Snickers>. <laughs> no, one's, no one's That's hungry and they're eating that It's shit. more like a snack. It's like, hey, you're hungry, grab a Snickers. Right, but, like, you, uh, no one does... That's weird. Yeah, so like, oh, man, I didn't eat lunch You know what? Like, you think no one does it? I guarantee you there's a bunch of fat pieces of shit out there. You slobs. Look, I'm fat guy. Who get hungry and are like, I'm going to... That's what I mean by... I, I knew they Snickers. weren't advertising as a meal replacement, but no one in their mind is like, I'm going to use this as a meal replacement. No, but there's people for sure that are like, I'm hungry. Like, I need a quick snack. I'll have a Snickers. And Maybe. like, they think that that's No, but like, then all of a sudden weird. they're like a new person. Well, they're 450 pounds and like they all live in Texas, but oh, they're so real. For, yeah, no. 450 pound guy's not having a Snickers and now he's- oh, no, I'm full fun now. Size Snickers. I'm full. Dude's going for the king size. I mean, people eat Snickers, they just eat it because they're like, I just, I just want to be a piece of shit and eat Snickers and Talking candy. Talking way too much about Snickers. Anyways, they don't deserve yeah, this. Yeah, all right, that was 103. All right, we're going to move it on. I have a lot on here because I didn't know what you guys were going to say. I'm going to change past a little. I'm going to go into less of the chocolate, more of the sugar. Boom. Skittles. <laughs> Taste the I rainbow. Like, I like a Skittle. Taste the I rainbow. Taste Skittles. Um, yeah, so Skittles are great. <laughs> he needed some, some positivity yeah, after the first one. Uh, what can I say about Skittles? Skittles are just like... The marquee, marquee, sugary, uh, colorful candy there is. Um, I love them. I even like the tropical version of them. I know they have tropical version, different versions. Ike was saying something before, like, oh, they got they got the lime flavor back. It's not how I see Skittles. I see Skittles like, oh, also didn't even know a it red. Existed, yeah. Oh, a purple, a green, lime. You know, it's like, also what? an underrated part about Skittles. Yeah, give it to me. You share them. You know, you rip open the pack. Yep. You're like, hey, you want any? Boom, hit them with yeah. like six yeah. or whatever, and then you continue That's a good them. thing and a bad thing. Like, boom, once the Skittles pops, all the hands start then coming. Then you have to. All ask, the hands yeah. start coming. You know, and if you've got sweaty hands, you get the colors in your hand. What I do like, and I don't know if this is weird or not, when they do get a little warm, I like pressing them down and squishing them. 
and then they like the, the shell cracks and it's like a it's like a cake a little pie it's like a little a i little feel you it looks pie. it looks weird it looks like you stepped on it and yes. you're like i shouldn't be eating this but it starts getting gray you oh, know like exactly it's like the texture, the texture yeah. changes oh it's amazing like it's a little weird i know we've already supersized every single candy we've talked about imagine a big skittle terrible <laughs> it would be great a big skittle oh i'd want to throw up i feel like oh, after one bite smush it. A Skittle sand would be terrible. It's like Ew. a big Skittle. Stop it. All right. That was a good one, though, right? That was good? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Skittles are a good candy. Bullshit, you know, uh, candy. This is a, a newer candy to hit the streets, but... This is going to be stupid. Well, it's a new variation of an old candy. Uh, I'm going to go with the Nerds Gummy Clusters. It's the number one candy on the market right now. Okay. Um, I had Nerds Rope so as, that's, as a possible. This is basically Nerds yeah. Rope. It's, in that, it, but it's cut, in that universe. They basically cut a Nerds Rope in and put it in a bag. It's yeah. just like little clusters. Can you just say Nerds? No, because no. this has the licorice inside it. Which nerds are, nerds are very, just like the little, yeah. Niche. It, this gives you the crunchy and chewiness, and yeah. that's what oh, separates okay. it from okay. every other I think candy. you could have got this in like the in the fourth issue. I probably right? could have, but it deserves yeah. to be a one-on-one. It's the number one candy in the market right now. It's good. Uh, no, it's number one. When was the last time you had one? It's probably a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. I buy the big bag for the office every once in a while. So you guys, it's actually nice you texture. guys left a monster on the board. Actually, two monsters in a row. I mean, there's a lot of candies in this world. Yeah. Like, we've, I've said two. You've said two things. Like, come on. What Twix. Are you have fun? Twix. Great yeah, candy. Twix are great. Twix is my 102. Like, Twix I'm taking them after Reese's immediately. You uh, uh, left or right guy. <laughs> see, another see commercial that, that is bad marketing. I hate it, is it so much. It's not because you fucking know it. But it... It doesn't. It doesn't mean. It doesn't say anything. That's like the Snickers it, actually has some funny like connotation behind. It. Like the yeah. commercials can be funny. Have you ever went in to buy a Twix and then saw like it was a left pack and didn't buy it? And Literally, I'm not right saying this to spite you, but never in my life. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm just no. curious. I don't think I've ever bought a Twix. I think I've only been given Twixes. Are you serious? Uh. Like I don't. Do you go in and buy a full size Twix? I don't buy like candy normally. Yeah, that's actually candy. true. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, oh, if it was I here, also, I, I would never buy like a Snickers bar, but I like them. Reese's are something I would buy because they do like the giant Reese's. They have a lot of variety to it. Pieces. Let's be real. Like we're grown adult, you're not. We're not going into stores and buying candy, right? Uh, no, not right, guys. I mean, even though you just did it. <laughs> oh, I was buying for you guys. It's yeah, called no, being that's a good a, boss. Yeah, but well, outside, also, outside it's Halloween, of, like this is outside like, of Halloween, you're not going into a store and buying candy. Very rarely, like maybe once in a while, I'll buy some dots. <laughs> I know you had to get. It's not going to be on his list, but he had to get that. Maybe once in a while, I'll buy dots. some dots because I love them and they're really good. But maybe not top five. Yeah, dots are disgusting. All right, so yeah, after yeah. Reese's Twix, uh, I'll just get another powerhouse, and that is uh, watermelon sour patch. <sighs> Good choice. Water, Malone, they are... Um, I actually think the market would have them rated higher than I personally do, because I, I, I like a lot of different chewy candies that yeah. I can't name right now because I'm still in the draft, of course, so we're still in the process. But Watermelon Salad Patch are great. They just taste great. I do question their longevity. Like, after you eat five or six of them, you're like, I'm about to throw up. Can't eat any more of them. But, you know, they're, they're, they're elite in the first few bites. Are we talking only the ones that are in the shape of a watermelon? Those, I mean, because those are put in their own like bracket, like Sour Patch by themselves. I don't think yeah. are that good of a candy. They don't. They don't touch the list. You're Sour saying? Patch kids for me, no. are not. I don't even care about them. But the same. watermelon ones are the only ones I will eat. Yeah, and the strawberry. I don't on. think I've had those. It's like the same exact thing as the watermelon, but strawberry, even shaped yeah. like a watermelon, <laughs> shaped like a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making me feel more comfortable. Yeah, I'll go with the uh, Twix and watermelon Sour Patch. Watermelon Sour Patch. All right. I'll give it to you. Animal. All right, so I've been struggling right now because oh. I gave a chocolate, I gave a candy, and now I, I want to go back to a chocolate, but... Hey, animal, you know, um, you're not yourself when you're when you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, have a Snickers. Why don't you grab a Snickers? Go, um... Don't tell him what to do. Well, my ne I don't want him to take my next one. Well, so here's what I'm going to do. It's a, it's a very underrated bar. You, I really only have it around Halloween time. Uh, 100 grand. It's the chocolate. I think that actually has nougats. Which you were referring to before. I think Chocolate Grand actually has nougats. It's a crispy, crunchy, chocolatey caramel. It's got everything you need. And it's a uh, hundred grand. It costs you a hundred thousand dollars to buy it. So <laughs> it is a good bar. It's only it for the bar. elite. And that's why I um I respect the hell out of it. Yeah, I remember I like you, it. you basically just got value Snickers two rounds later. I don't think there's nougat in it. Can you look that up? I just think it's just crispy rice. I'll chocolate, read it off to you. Chewy caramel. Caramel. Milk chocolate, crispy crunchies. Don't you fucking say nougat. Crunchy crunchies. How's it? Those three. That's it. Boom. All right. So Max put uh, on his list a candy. He doesn't even know what's in it. What is nougat? Nougat is what's in a Snickers. Hello. What is nougat? It's a good question. That's probably we need to figure that out first. All right. Nougat, nougat. is a family of confections made with sugar and honey, roasted nuts, whipped egg blah, whites, blah, blah blah blah, and sometimes chopped candied fruit. So I don't think it's a Snickers. All right. Regardless, hundred grand. Regardless. That's a good pick. All right. Next, I'm gonna go with Three Musketeer Bar. 
<laughs> let's go. Fucking react to it. <laughs> Three Musketeers. Let's go. Three I, Musketeers. I almost just took that. You know what? That's people, what I thought you were going to take. When you search nougat, people also search for Snickers. So I think you're right. Yes. All right. Thank sorry. you. I'm right. You're, you're obviously wrong. You don't even know what's in the candy bars you like. Yeah. So Three Musketeers bars. I love them. You know, uh, this reminds me of childhood. I was going to say, when yeah. I was younger, I used to rip through these. Yeah. What I love most about them, the uh, texture of them. I don't know what, actually, technically, I know I was just Sluffy. lampooning you for it. You I don't, don't know, know what's in them. Yeah. Three Musketeers is a question mark to me. It's like a gray, soft, you know what a Three Musketeers like like pillowy like goodness. Super, super soft. You know what a, a bite of Three Musketeers is kind of like? Oh, Do you ever you ever got in uh, like a pint of ice cream, right? Oh, yeah. And you get a flavor in it. And, and sometimes, like, you're going through it, and every spoonful that you get has, like, a bite into it. It's got chocolate chip, or it's got, like, this ch- cookie, and then you're just like, fuck, can I just get one bite without all that stuff? Give me the smoothness of yeah. it. That's what it's Oh, all right, all right. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. Like you, you didn't have me until that last line. It's just whipped mousse. Yeah, you, is it whipped mousse? Fluffy whipped mousse. You Like, you ever done that? You just eat ice cream, and you're like, can you just give me, like, one bite of just smooth of just vanilla that, or, like, whatever else. the base was? Yeah, yeah, so I can not have this chewy fucking crunchy shit. Three Musketeers throughout. Just all of the goodness. All of it in the thing. Yeah. yeah. It's a good pick. Plus, it's like a great historical reference. The Three Musketeers. I do like that. Great packaging. That's it. All right. Who's up next? You. Me. Okay. I don't have much else written on my list. Uh, I don't know where to go here. It's not one of my favorites. I do love the taste. Reminds me of the movie theaters. I had it at the movie theaters, especially in the small version. Cookie dough bites? No. I do like cookie dough. But don't do it. Don't do it. Fuck it. Butterfingers. Yeah, I like Butterfingers. The main issue with Butterfinger is... Stuck in your teeth. It's stuck in your teeth. It sucks. Dude, it takes a finger. I don't know actually if this is my favorite. I don't know why I they're said good. it. They're good. They're good. They're, they're really one of the good. candies that I have no idea how they've stayed alive this long. Have you had really? one? Have I had one? Of course I've had a Butterfinger. It's fucking awesome. The first and last. The first and is yeah, nuts. I mean, you like Reese's, but you don't like Butterfinger. It's just like. It's, uh, that's a, such a bad comp. No, nah, it's chocolate peanut butter. It's like saying. No, like they actually, should, this is another This is another one. Like I have no idea what's Kevin inside. White. I have no idea what's inside of a Butterfinger. I just know. the same. I like the taste when it goes in my mouth. It's like paper. But then the the one thing is like... What do you mean? You don't know? It's crispy, crunchy, it's peanut buttery. Isn't that like there? They have uh, peanut butter in it? I don't a know. A butter finger is uh, peanut butter. Mm. Hold on. You know, I couldn't even tell you, but I do like them besides the whole getting caught in your teeth. Like if they could create, if the people from Butterfinger are watching this, create one that doesn't get caught in your teeth and I'm on board. That's just, my 101. Butterfinger, should it, they just create a new candy? Probably. It consists just, of a know. layered crisp Peanut butter core covered in chocolatey coating. It's the least peanut butter flavored peanut yeah, butter what? thing I've ever seen. It's like orange seen. in there. Well, I don't know. Those are my four. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Animal. You guys got any exotics? I feel like we're going with the... I got one that it's not... It's going to lose it for me, but look, I am who I am, and I like these a lot. <sighs> oh, this is going to be so stupid. I know what it, I mean, I know what it is. You don't know what it is. Can you describe it, and we'll see if we oh, know it? So I'm, I'm on the fence between two right now. I'm going to give you the one, because I feel like more people will relate to the... Mm. No, just be true to yourself. We're not trying to put... Can I just give you a piece of advice? Don't choose dots. I'm not. Don't not choose dots. dots. Don't choose dots. Okay, so I'm going to go with mini Charleston chews. Uh, I know a lot of people probably don't even know what they are, but... I don't. It's like a marshmallow chocolate, but they're mini, and you can just sit there and pop them in your mouth. It's kind of like a Malamar? Yeah, but Malamar has like a little bit of a crisp to it. This is just chewy. Charleston oh, there's no chew. cookie. Is there no cookie? No cookie. It's just no Charleston cookie. chew. It's just chewy. It's like a chewy marshmallow chocolate. I won't speak ill. I've never had. So they're very good. A lot of people slept on them. People say it's an old person candy. They might be right, but yeah. it's delicious. So I'm not a huge fan of like marshmallow based things to begin with. Yeah. Let's see. It may not even be a marshmallow. Charleston chew. Like everything else, I don't know what's in it. Damn. I have a list of about 10 that I think deserve this last spot. Dude, hit us with all of them. Okay. I'll hit you with all of them, and then we could speak through who should have the last one. It's not marshmallow. Yeah, it was, just making yeah, shit yeah, up. This is bullshit. No matter what, you're losing this. You don't even fucking know what you're picking. It's, it's vanilla. <laughs> Do you know so what a Charleston chew is? Cigar. Do you know what a Charleston chew is? It's a flavored nougat covered in chocolate. This has been one of the worst performances I've ever seen. Can I switch to um, caramel swirls? No. Sure. Just Both terrible. <laughs> What's in there? Caramel uh, cream swirls. You never had those? The individual, nope. like the, the cow tails, like, uh, you know. Oh, fuck. To any candy that comes with a twisted, that reminds me of grandma's, grandpa's. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're Here, so good. Here's a couple pennies. Happy it's just, Halloween. It's just he goes, caramel. You're making fun of him. He goes, yeah, so good. <laughs> <laughs> caramel with like a cream center. No, I get center. it. I get it. Woo. Woo, woo, woo. All right, Nick, take us home. Okay, so with the 403, I have a tier. I have a tier of 10 choices. You ready? <laughs> Only 10? It might be 12, actually. Okay, go. Cookie dough bites. <laughs> Starburst. Mm. Razzles. Razzles, huh? go. Mike and Ike's. Wait, Razzles were the ones that look like Legos? Yes. 
Oh, those are okay. Those that's big childhood stuff right there. Yeah. Razzles. Oh, I haven't thought of those. Mike and Ike's. Heath Disgusting. Bar. Love Mike and Ike. Heath Same. Bar. Uh, Heath Bar. Peanut M and M's. Haribo gummies. Haribo. Lifesaver gummies. Diarrhea. Goated. Yeah. Tober Toberlones. You know those chocolate bars? Are the yeah, Toberlones. Of course. However you say it, Toberlones. Of course. Uh, York peppermint patties. Goated. And for my Australian people out there, the demo Tim Tams. Oh, Tim Tams. Have you had Tim Tams? No, but oh, you were talking we about, about you were talking about, <laughs> you were talking about taking it. You son of a bitch. Yeah. I was gonna take it. I never had a Tim Tam, so I don't know if you ever had a Tim Tam. Maybe maybe you like it. So many good options here. Uh, Narrow it down to one. Let me hear it. So if I'm if I'm choosing my own personal faves here, I am. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. You just named a whole bunch of your favorites. So, like, you know, you, you did that to let everyone know, like, hey, I also like these, yeah. but I have to pick one. I mean, you kind of cheated the system a little bit. Yeah. What do you mean? That? My draft, when we put up the picture of the draft, there's only going to be four pictures. Yeah, but me. everyone's going to know. It's kind of bullshit. It's going to be. Yeah, well, like, everyone's oh, going to know, like, Nick's like, got oh, great taste. Your, he's yeah, a beast. Exactly. Yeah. Who's your best shit. option for quarterback? Listen, maybe I threw out like 13 I threw out Charleston Shoes and Caramel Swirls. So, I'm done. Maybe if you, yeah, maybe if you fucking chose some good guys. I'm going peanut M&M's as my final choice. And that's a good one. Thank no you. one said M&M's. M&M's are Suck. amazing. People Regular M&M's, M&M's terrible. Peanut M&M's, goaded. All M&M's kind of suck, except for the pretzel. <sighs> oh, those are good. You yeah. disgust me. Peanut <laughs> M&M's are good. Crunchy Peanut M&M's, M&M's, yeah. The crunchy M&M's were awesome, too. It just reminds me. I don't know. It reminds me of the movies in childhood, all this candy. I'm going with peanut M&M's, but... Cookie uh, dough bites, Starburst, Razzles, Mike and I, Keith Bar, Haribo gummies, Life Saver gummies, Toberlone, <laughs> York Permanent Patty, and Tim Tams are also some well, of my those all on the list. Yeah, I get 10 rounds in this draft. I think we did pretty good. Yep. You run it back for us real quick. Okay, so we have the four rounds. Bang! Reese's, Kit Kat, Snickers, Skittles, Nerds Cluster, Twix, Watermelon Sour Patch, 100 Grand, Three Musketeers, Butterfingers, Mini Charleston Shoes, or did we switch that? Three mini, mini Charleston Shoes, it's a vanilla. Enough. Uh, <laughs> Peanut m <M&M's>. You don't <laughs> get another. Werther's Originals. You don't get another convincing. Chocolate-covered nougat, vanilla flavor. They also come in chocolate and strawberry, but I've only ever had the vanilla. <laughs> All right, so I hope everyone enjoys their Halloween weekend. Good luck in week eight. What are you most looking forward to about Halloween? Can we touch on it real quick? Real yeah, quick, we have a being, second. Uh, being, are you gonna Are you going to trick or treat? Do people do that in New York City? It being no. over. No? I mean, no. before you were telling me That's that sh- as child, I just want to know, if scumbag or not, like, you know, like, when you were kids, you guys used to go around, take one bowls. You guys used to just take the whole fucking bowl. We used to drive around a pickup truck, and we'd see a bowl on a front porch, and we'd run and sprint out, grab it, run into the fucking back, of the, throw it in the back of the truck, and then be out. Used to call it bowling. We were talking bowling. about this. Yeah. They would take the bowl also. Yeah, I took a whole cauldron and a witch once. Yeah, it's one thing to steal all you the took family's a witch candy with it. So it was a witch holding was like a cauldron to it. full of candy. And you took and the I whole just, thing, like, grabbed the witch, and started dragging <laughs> her down the driveway. It was like a huge driveway, like Allendale. Yeah, so that that's a scumbag move, you know. I but was a child. Here's the thing, though. Yeah, you're a child. You know, old. people do dumb things. If someone's lazy enough to put a take one on their porch, they deserve it to be stolen. I have no problem taking the that? whole thing. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm good taking the whole thing when I was that young. I didn't give you got to just understand like that's how the world works. Yeah, like yeah, maybe three people will come by and they'll take one. Yeah, but someone's coming along and taking the whole thing, and I fully ex- I, I I expect it and accept it. But you yeah. got to watch out now. Now with like ring doorbells and stuff, there's a little up, up, de- upgrade in uh, security. Before. Did it down like a dead end. The guy came out, fucking knocking on the window and shit. He's like, "Give me my fucking bull back." Wait, what? And we ran him over. <laughs> <laughs> God, God, Halloween him. rules. I love Halloween. <laughs> Halloween rules. Let's go. Dude. All right. Thank you all. Love you. See go you, to everyone. Pristine Auction. Thank you. Have a great week.